Bonjour tout le monde, Jen here. Today I'm testing the Maybelline Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer. All right, um, I'm kind of late to the bandwagon. It took so much time to arrive in Canada. I couldn't get my hands on it. Now that I have, you already know I had to do a review, rare test, and first impression on this tinted moisturizer because if you do not know, Maybelline is one of my favorite drugstore makeup. This tinted moisturizer claims that it's for all skin types. Interesting, I'm oily, so love that for me. It gives a natural look, it gives a fresh feeling, it's a buildable coverage, and it gives a 12 hour hydration. I'm not gonna wear this for a long time, but I will do my best to keep it as long as possible so we can see how this tinted moisturizer works on oily skin like mine. And it comes in 14 shades. I have the shade 355. Also, they claim that it covers imperfection, even skin tones. Perfect, because look at my skin. I have large pores. I have hyperpigmentation. I also have pimples. I have everything to test this tinted moisturizer. We'll see. And also, it retails for $9.99 US and maybe $12 Canadian, not sure about that, but let's see, we're starting now. <laughs> it comes with this kind of applicator. I love that because I can directly go on my face. Okay, it's pretty liquidy. And this is how this is looking. First thing I need to do is prep my skin. What I'm going to do is use a powder just as my primer just to set my face you know i kind of need some kind of preparation for my skin i don't have any primer on for your information the powder i'm using is the maybelline fit me loose finishing powder per usual what i want to do i will do one side of my face with a brush and the other side with a sponge i'm gonna go with my morphe foundation brush this is the e63 I just wanna see if it's gonna hide my pimple. Well, not my pimple, but the dark spot on my pimple. Pretty good coverage. I'm gonna be honest, it's my first time using a tinted moisturizer. What I do usually is just mix some moisturizer in my foundation. It looks pretty hydrating. Can you see that? Let's go in with a second layer. Now my dark spots are completely covered. Wow, okay. Now we're testing the sponge. This is a Shop Miss A sponge. My first time trying this sponge, but I really like how soft this sponge is and it's damp. Um, it oxidized. It did oxidize. It's oxidizing. It became more dark because my face wasn't that dark earlier. With the sponge, it gives pretty much natural vibes. It did not hide my imperfections yet. Let's go in with a second layer and I'm gonna add much more. I really love the finish with the sponge. I feel like there's something going on here. What is it? I think you can see it on camera, something here. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's my skin. It hides my dark spots, but not as much as with the foundation brush because I can still see that dark spot. <laughs> I can speak today. That dark spot over here, as well as my beauty mark here. Let's do a little bit of a close up. I don't know if you can tell, but the side with the brush looks more dewy than the side with the sponge. 
So I prefer the way the side using the sponge looks better than this side with the foundation brush. You tell me if you can see the difference. I think you should go in with the sponge. It has such a beautiful finish with the sponge. I want this to look even, so I'm gonna use my beauty sponge to blend out this side here. I will do the rest of my face off camera and I'll be back when I'm done. All right, I started at around 1 p.m. and it's now 2.30. I think I look good, especially for someone who did not use any primer. It hid all my dark spots. It looks natural. It feels very light. I don't feel it on my face. The coverage is buildable, that's for sure. So I just wanna see how I'm gonna look. So it's been an hour. I did film this makeup tutorial. It will be up on my channel. I will link it over here. Alors voilà. Donc, uh, I'll see you all later. À tantôt. <laughs> Salut. We're back. It's currently 6:19, so it means that I've had this foundation. Well, not foundation, but tinted moisturizer for over five hours, and I'm looking pretty oily. It's maybe my fault. I should have used a primer like I usually do with um, foundation, but I did not. I'm really shiny. What bothers me a lot is here. My chin as well in real life. Oof, so oily. My nose is doing well, kind of. It did break down a little. I don't know if you can tell, but it did break down a little bit around here on the side of my nostrils. I don't know how, if I pronounce it right, but on the side here of my nostrils. Nostrils, that's the word. I don't know what I was thinking. This line here gets on my nerves so much. But one thing I'm impressed with is my smile lines. <gasps> they are intact. Usually here, it's already cracked. The makeup has already separated there. Um, but smile lines are intact. This is weird though, because usually when I do have that line here, my smile lines as well cracks or whatever. The tinted moisturizer did not move here as well as here and even you know except for my nose that it has disintegrated a little bit it's still here it's very oily but the tinted moisturizer is still on my face my dark spots hyperpigmentation are still covered my other test is gonna be using some tissue to blot away the oils to see i'm just pressing Do you see the difference already? Ooh, back to normal. Can you see the difference? And you can see the makeup did not move. Ooh, I look good again. Oh, wow. Now, let's go back to the claims of this tinted moisturizer. So, natural look, I, I agree. My skin looks like my skin, but better. Okay, 12 hours of hydration. I don't know, I, I, I cannot test that part because first of all, I'm oily, so that someone with dry skin could test that part. I cannot say, I don't know. Buildable coverage, I agree with that. I love how my first layer, we could see a little bit of my dark spots, but not as much as it was showing without the tinted moisturizer. But with the second layer, mwah, chef kiss. We couldn't see anything after that. It does help hiding imperfections. I love that. The only thing though, I'm not gonna let that slide. Why did that tinted moisturizer oxidized that much? Why? But other than the fact it oxidized, I like it. I like it. And also what I love is that my smile lines stayed intact. This is crazy. This is 
crazy. It's a go for me. Anyways, that's it for my review, rare test, and first impressions on the Maybelline Tinted Moisturizer. If you tried it, let me know, did it oxidize on you as well? And also, if you never tried it, do you think you're gonna give it a try? If this video was helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not part of my family yet, subscribe and join the squad. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you all on my next one. A bientôt, bisous, mwah.